Terminations can be a sensitive issue. Fortunately, Amerifleet is fully adept at employing best practices when picking up fleet vehicles from terminated employees. What Amerifleet terminations um, are handled differently because terminations could mean a lot of things. They could be a hostile termination, it could be a voluntary termination. So first we'd like to understand it, why they're being terminated because with that information it determines how we address it out in the field. The clients, it's, it's very sensitive to the client, therefore it's very sensitive to Amerifleet. We realize it's people's livelihoods at stake. So when we receive that information, it's, it's held confidential. It's, we make sure that when we receive that information that we don't want to release the information too fast out in the field if they have specific dates. So getting proactive information from our clients is very important up, up front. At Amerifleet, I feel that the scope and scale that we have out in the field, we're North American, we have offices in Canada and all through the United States, Puerto Rico and Hawaii, of course. And so we've had projects up to 900 of terminations at once, and it's very important to the clients that we can cover these geographic areas with the same services that we would do in Canada, we would do in the U.S. So they don't have to worry about um, doing different practices or using different suppliers in these different areas. We're consistent throughout North American.